Last March, the Department of Energy requested to withdraw their license application to construct the nation's only high-level nuclear waste repository at Yucca Mountain. The DOE then suspended all activities at the site and shut down the office that provided oversight to the project. However, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission's Judges Panel ruled against the DOE's application withdrawal and is now appealing that decision. Currently, Clark County has 14 contentions before the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, and of which 10 of those are public safety based on volcanism. There are a number of lawsuits pending in the U.S. District Court of Appeals that could direct the DOE to resurrect Yucca Mountain. There are legal proceedings that have been filed by lawsuits of those who are in support of the Yucca Mountain project, such as the state of Washington, state of Florida, NARUC, and the Prairie Island uh, group. And these people are in support of it, so we need to monitor the proceedings in the legal court system, which is the U.S. Court of Appeals, and with the results of that, that could force the issue and put the new, or Yucca Mountain back on the table as far as the licensing itself. Currently, the licensing is still in play. Is Yucca Mountain really dead? That is the first question we could ask whether we're conducting a school presentation, talking to senior citizens, participating in a health fair, or any outreach event. The unresolved legal status of Yucca Mountain has created confusion to many people. And that's why Clark County's Nuclear Waste Division is continuing its outreach program. One of the hardest things about this project is how do you translate highly technical materials so that the general public can understand it, so that children can understand it. And it's been a task, but again, it's been a role and responsibility to keep the public informed and maintain of all the latest developments and future developments of Yucca Mountain. A Blue Ribbon Commission on America's nuclear future is preparing for Yucca's uncertain future. The proposed high-level repository could cease to exist, return in the near future, or be built at a different site. Yes, the uh, Nuclear Waste Program is currently working on a Lessons Learned video and a Lessons Learned book where we interview and get institutional knowledge from uh, Cloud County staff, consultants, and key players who have participated in this uh, very complex project over the years. The uh, main objective of this video and book is to gather all this data and uh, look at what worked best, what could have been done better, and use this as a reference guide in case Yucca Mountain or a similar project should ever resurface. And at the county level, a Nuclear Waste Advisory Committee was formed to monitor and study the latest activities at Yucca Mountain. This committee is comprised of environmental experts from local cities and other governmental entities. This committee and the Board of County Commissioners are committed to monitor and review licensing issues as they continue to play a vital role in Clark County's oversight activities. For more information on this most complex issue, visit www.clarkcountynv.gov and follow the links to the Nuclear Waste Division.